guys, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I want to show you a simple way that you can add in an extra glow to your holiday lights inside of Photoshop. Sometimes when we take pictures of holiday lights, they can fall a little flat in the photos than we see them in real life. So I'm going to share with you a really simple way that you can add back in that extra glow. So let's flip around and learn how. All right, so for this tutorial here, I'm going to be using an image from one of the Cozy Click students and members, Vanessa Burns with Vanessa Burns Photography. And she was actually asking this question over in the membership about how to get the bulbs to glow. And I know that around holiday time, you probably are looking for a way to get the lights to glow a little bit more in your images too. So I'm going to show you one really easy, simple way that you can do this. It's really quick and really effective. So in this image here, I'm going to work on this sign Noel and we're going to make these bulbs glow a little more. And I'm also going to do the same thing to these lights on the tree because a lot of times when we take photos of lights, um, holiday lights, they seem to fall flat in the picture. So we're going to give it that little bit of extra pop. So let's start by working on the Noel bulbs. What you're going to do is you're going to go to layer, new, well, new, and then layer right there. And let's call this one Noel so that we know which one we're working with. And I'm going to click OK. I'm also going to zoom into this image so that we can get a real clear shot of the bulbs in this picture. Now, one thing that you can do is you can sample a color that's close to the color the bulb already is, or you can choose a color all on your own. I'm going to sample here, so I'm going to take my color dropper, and I'm just going to sample a couple of the colors that are around the bulbs. From there, I'm going to go over to where my color swatches are here, double click that, and I'm going to get the color palette that's close to the colors that are already in the image. I'm not going to use this color though, I'm going to use one that's much brighter. So I'm just going to bring it over here and click in the same color palette as those bulbs, but a brighter color, and click OK. Then I'm going to grab a brush, make sure it's a soft brush, and make sure you're on the new layer that you created. I'm going to dab on, and I'm going to adjust my brackets so they're bigger than the bulb. So if you look at the circle, my brush size, you'll see it's much bigger than the bulb itself. And I'm just going to paint over, I'm just one click, I'm just dabbing on each of the bulbs here. Now, as I do this, look inside each of the bulbs. The natural bulbs kind of have a white center. So before I dab that one, really look at that one. See how it's a white center? We're going to recreate that too. So I'm going to dab there, but let's recreate that white center in each of the bulbs. I'm going to click back on this orange color palette, and this time in this same color palette, I'm going to choose one that's almost white. Okay, and click OK, because each of those bulbs had a white center. I'm going to use my bracket tools now and really decrease the size of the brush. And I'm just going to dab on to each of those bulbs just like that. Okay, so I'm just dabbing on to each of the center of the bulbs. Now, you could leave it just like that if you wanted to. And with this layer selected, just adjust the opacity and drop it a little more. And that might look good on the image that you're working with. But what I found is that when you adjust the blending mode, you're going to get some different results that might be more realistic. So let's do that. Let's go and switch the blending mode from normal. And I want you to choose one of the colors in this section here, or not colors, but blending modes. These are the ones that are going to lighten it up. So you could choose lighter color, linear dodge, color dodge, screen, or lighten. And you can see they all give it kind of a different amount or intensity of the way it glows. So choose the one that looks the best for your particular photo. I kind of like the screen one here, so I'm going to choose those bulbs to screen. and. I'm going to decrease the opacity just a little bit. I like to tell people to always get the opacity where you think it looks good and then drop it down just a little bit more and that will help ensure that it doesn't look too fake. So I'm going to bring it down like that and then you can see the bulbs, there it was before 
and there it is with that little bit of extra glow. So let's zoom back out of this image here so that you can see the difference again. So now we made the bulbs just have that bit of extra glow that doesn't look overly fake. So there it was before and there it is after. Let's do something similar to the tree too. So for here, I'm gonna create another layer, another new layer right here. This one I'm gonna call tree and you'll see it pop up over here. And now I have this layer selected that says tree. This time I'm gonna keep those same, that same white color and a small brush and I'm just gonna dab a little bit on some of the lights. You don't have to go on every single one. That might take a long time, but I'm gonna dab a little bit. And then I'm gonna click back over here, maybe, maybe choose a little bit darker of a color, click OK, maybe make the brush just a little bit bigger, not a whole lot bigger. And I'm just dabbing on, and then maybe I'm gonna choose one more color. Same color palette, maybe a little brighter, click OK. Again, I can change the size of my brush around. You could even dab on um, over some of the ones you already had before. Okay, so I'm kind of trying to hit the lights just like that. Once again, you could leave it just like that if you wanted to and adjust the opacity, keeping it at a normal blend mode. Or you could change the blend mode again to one of the lighten ones here. And once again, it's going to be dependent on your image. So choose one that you like the best. I kind of like the linear dodge for the trees, so I'm going to click OK. And again, I'm going to bring my opacity down just a little bit more than I think looks, than I think looks good. Okay, just like that. You can see there it was before and there it is after. So that just gives it a nice little extra glow to the image and makes it a little more festive. Give it a try on your own photos. I always love seeing how you guys uh, use these tutorials and what you create. So if you are over on Instagram, make sure to follow me at Cozy Clicks and tag or mention me if you do use this tutorial so I can see what you've created. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today. You can check out the full written tutorial over on the blog by going to CozyClicks.com slash lights. And I would love if you would subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I will be adding new tutorials here all the time. Thanks for watching.